My name is Jalen. Um, welcome to my backyard. You can hear summer all around, all those bugs. Um, I go to New Life Church College, NLC College. I serve in Elevation, which is our college ministry at the Conway campus. And today, I'm here to bring you the Devo from the Word of God. We're reading in Isaiah chapter 55. Verses 6 and 7. This is the New King James Version. You can read in any version you like to. But here we go. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. I read this verse um, and at first I really didn't like it. You know those guys that stand on the side of the road and they hold up those posters that say, you're a sinner, you're wicked, you need to repent or you're going to go to H-E double hockey sticks. The end is near. And it's like, ouch. So I first read this and I was like, ouch. Okay, I know I'm wicked. I know sometimes my thoughts are unrighteous. I know I need to repent, return to the Lord. Like, okay, thanks for telling me. But I stopped and I said, you know, Father, your love is in your throughout your whole word and so I know your love is within these verses help me to see that and so I read all of 55 and that's when he showed me that this verse is all about us asking for the Lord's forgiveness so that we can receive his abundant blessings that he has in store for us um, it asks us to seek the Lord call upon him return to him and then from that we get his mercy his grace and his abundant forgiveness and I often find myself wondering why am I in this dry season? Why am I not hearing from the Lord? Why is today a really bad day? Um, and I stop and I rest for a moment in the Lord's presence and I ask, God, what is it that I'm doing wrong? Is there a sin I keep repeating or a temptation I keep letting get the best of me? And I just stop and say, God, forgive me. Help me to receive your grace and your mercy and return to you, return to focusing on you, choosing your path, living by the spirit, not by my flesh. Um, and that automatically unlocks his blessings, his abundance, his peace, his joy. Um, and it may seem kind of harsh at first. Oh, I have to repent first before I receive anything from the Lord. But I think it really shows how much he loves us, um, that he doesn't want us to stay in sin or in temptation or in bad habits or bad choices, but rather he wants to bring us out of that and into his blessings and his goodness. Um, and all we have to do is ask for forgiveness, just return to him, sit in his presence and say, man, I know you love me and I know you want to forgive me. And so I'm going to receive that grace and mercy. Um, and he doesn't ever call us to repentance out of shame or guilt. But when we choose to remember the cross and what Christ did for us, it is so easy to just have a heart that is ready to return to him, receive his love, his forgiveness. Uh, I encourage all of you to just take a moment like I do many a days just sit and say, Lord, where am I messing up? Where am I just not choosing you, being sinful? And how can I return to you in that area um, and surrender my life to you again? So read all of Isaiah 55. It's so good. It talks about how much rain he has for us, the abundance, the joy, the peace, um, all the beauty he has for us that he wants to give to us if we just seek him and call him and return to him. Dear Father, thank you for your word and just how much life is within it. I pray that as everyone reads this chapter that we are just fulfilled with your goodness, um, encouraged, excited about the blessings and abundance you always have for us. Uh, I pray against shame and guilt and that we all just realize how much you want to lavish your love on us. Um, and so I pray over any moment of repentance or forgiveness we all have and that you're within it, giving us your grace and mercy over and over and over again. Um, we love you, your word, and this freedom we have to read your word. In your precious name we pray, amen. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.